does the old model work? The, how does movies traditionally work? It's easy. Everything starts here. I don't know if you're going to see it very good, but OK, imagine if not. Everything starts with the money. And usually behind the money, there is a major, in the case of Hollywood, or in the case of Spain, an old production company with usually a grant from the state. Then they have an idea, very good idea, and an endless versions screenplay that pleases all the executives involved in the movie. Then they begin production for more or less a year, in which if the public is lucky, they will have one, two press notes, maybe uh, a couple of uh, mentions at blogs, and finally, the movie. Now they have to release it, so they put it on a theater, okay, this is the cinema, where it shows for four to six months. Then DVD and Blu-ray, another four to six months. Pay-per-view TV, and finally public TV, 18 months later, for free. You're probably thinking, what? Do I have to wait 18 months to watch the movie for free? Well, if you do it legally, you have to. Besides this, the promotion is usually carried on only during the first months of the movie. And well, from this, uh, the money generated in all those sources goes directly to the producer to pay the bills, and if he's lucky, to pay a couple of coffees. Actually, this is what the producer would like to happen. It certainly did 20 years ago, not anymore. Now, the first minute the movie is at the theater, is at the same time on the internet, where hundreds of users are sharing it, are making subtitles for the movie, are remixing it, making mashups. They are doing all kinds of things. They are taking control of the movie because they have the technology to do that. And something is very, very wrong if the users are consuming the movie in a different way than the producer or the distributor wants to. Because of this, the producer sees absolutely no money. Zero. Nothing. So we were here to talk about the next 10 years of cinema. Next slide, please. OK. No, not that. Thank you. So how are going to be the next 10 years of cinema? We are trying to figure that out. For us, next 10 years, OK, let's separate this. For us, the next 10 years of cinema begin with an idea. That's the most important thing. And if you have an idea that is really good, because you have no money yet, you have to convince a lot of people that this idea is very, very good. So this is a lot of people. So where is the easiest and friendliest way to reach a lot of people? Any guess? The internet? Yeah, right, the internet. So what you begin to do is try to engage a lot of people with your idea and ask them to fund your movie because you need the money. So it's not about a big source of money anymore. There are many, smaller. But the best part of this is that they are your future audience. So you have a like, thousand people funding your movie and thinking your idea is their own. And that is amazing. So they begin to participate in the process. Uh, first of all, they've been following all the things you've done. So when you have something new, they get very happy. Hooray! And once you have an audience that is committed with your idea, suddenly production, production companies, distribution companies, investors, uh, TVs, they all become interested in your idea because you have the audience and you haven't have the movie yet. And there comes the big money. And that is good too, because you have your audience, and you have the money, and you have a good idea. And OK, so they begin to participate with you. They begin to, to help you, for example, with your movie. 
that is help in any way. You can crowdsource all the things you have to do for your movie and ask those people to help you. They give you ideas about the screenplay, about, uh, I don't know, the characters, about uh, how to show the movie. They give you also, uh, for example, a poster of the movie. They begin to create things around your movie because you allow them to do. They create teaser trailers, they create things, uh, creative things around your movie. And most important of all, they give you emotional uh, promotion. Okay, that is the most important thing because they are telling their friends about your movie, but they are not telling their friends that they've seen a great movie. They are telling their friends that they are doing a great movie. It's theirs. They are becoming, they became your best publicists. They give you the best promotion because it's based on emotion. It's their movie. So with all this, what you are generating is a lot of hype, which is great for your movie. Do you remember when did promotion start in the old model? You don't, have, you don't even have the movie yet, but you are generating a lot of hype. Now, if you are generating a lot of hype and you have a lot of people uh, working with you and helping you, what you do is to make the community bigger. Now you have 5,000 people following your things on your blogs or in your social networks or whatever. And well, they also start to participate with you. And for example, they join the contests you make, they go to the parties you host, which also gives you money for your movie. They watch the shooting of the movie live through the internet because you allow them to do that, or they play your alternate reality game. And um, that only means your community gets even bigger because they are always talking about the movie you are making and the lot of amazing stuff you are doing with them. Um, okay, so now you have a lot of people working with you, helping you, promoting your movie. You almost have the funds, so uh, you have to shoot. You shoot your movie. Now it's time to release it, to release the movie, uh, the same as they did in the old model, except for one thing. Isn't it fair that if all these people help you make your movie, you allow them to watch the movie the way they want, whenever they want, wherever they want? So instead of doing the traditional thing, you put the movie on a theater, on DVD, on TV, and on the internet. But you do it at the same time, the same day. Because it's up to them to decide where they want to watch it or how. And on the internet, you do it in high definition, of course, because that's the future. And you do it for free. Free? You must be saying, yeah, for free. Why? Very simple. Because if one people watches your movie and likes it, he will tell a friend. And if that friend likes the movie, he will tell another friend, and another, and another. And you'll have a huge audience. Actually, 1.6 billion potential audience. That is what the internet is. It's the biggest movie theater in the world. And you have lots of possibilities. And imagine this. Imagine one out of 10 these million people that are watching your movie decides to buy the DVD because they like it, or decides to go to the cinema, where you're not offering them just the movie. They go to the cinema and they can download, for example, the last uh, webisode of a series you are releasing through the internet, uh, and they can watch it before watching the movie. Or they can go to a party that a brand hosted for you to relate with the movie before the, the premiere. So you have money here, too. And, or they will decide to watch it on TV, which did pay you for, for uh, releasing the, the movie on TV. So, what you have here is not just a movie. You have a whole experience in which people 
engage it with your idea, they became, uh, they, they assume a compromise with it, they were related to it, they help you, they, uh, I mean, it's quite great to do this, and you have much bigger audience than you had in the traditional model, and of course you have a lot of uh, revenues and a lot of sources, different sources, that are giving you probably more money than with the traditional model. So this is kind of what we see the future of cinema. And it's more or less how we are making the future of cinema. I want to show you one last video, which shows uh, our project, which is exactly this, not 10 years from now. Rayo Cinema nace de una premisa sencilla y hermosa, llevar el cine a todos los terrenos posibles. Bruno, Carola y yo formamos nuestro colectivo a principios de 2006 y desde entonces hemos estado haciendo trabajos que nos entusiasmaban. Además nos dimos cuenta de que había una serie de cosas que nos acompañaban siempre. Como escuchar música gratis en Spotify. O ir al cine, pero también buscar películas en la red. O utilizar licencias libres que nos permitían ser igual de creativos, pero también estar en contacto con la comunidad. Además descubrimos el significado de una nueva palabra, crowdfunding. Crowdfunding significa que una persona apoya un proyecto y se lo cuenta a un amigo y este a otro amigo que también lo apoya y a otro y a otro hasta que un montón de gente lo hace posible. De pronto estábamos haciendo cine con un montón de amigos y era maravilloso. ¡Hola! El resto fue historia. Bruno me envió un mail y con tu buena idea. Y así surgió El Cosmonauta. La primera película española financiada mediante crowdfunding y producida por un montón de personas a lo largo de todo el mundo. ¿Desde solo dos euros? Cuando alguien quiere aportar algo más, compra merchandising en nuestra tienda. Licenciada con Creative Commons, atribución y compartir igual, para que tú la edites, copies, remezcles y distribuyas como tú quieras. La estrenaremos en cine, televisión y DVD al mismo tiempo para que seas tú el que elija dónde y cómo verla. Y la tendrás gratis en internet desde el primer día y en alta definición. Además, vamos a realizar un montón de concursos para que todo el mundo pueda participar, desde los músicos hasta los diseñadores. Ya hay un montón de gente que se ha unido con nosotros a esta gran aventura.